Hey everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary gameplay video. Really excited for you guys to be here because we're going to do another Marvel Legendary uh, fan-made expansion. We're going to be doing the Into the Spider-Verse again, and I'm this, these are so dang fun. I love printing out all these custom cards. I have a, I have a un, ungodly amount of custom cards sitting on my desk right now that I need to cut out, sleeve, and get, you know... Get, get, you know, get pumping out videos, you know, just showing off these amazing creations by the fans and the community. So I think, I think you guys are going to really enjoy them when I get them all set up. We're going to be doing some X-Men Krakoa era games. It's going to be really, really dang fun. Before we get started though, just a couple, a couple uh, announcements I want to go through real quick. So I was um, doing some kind of rule refreshing on the game and I kind of came to the conclusion that I, I am going to be doing some separation of um, the cards that came in the in the villain set and the cards that ca came in the core box. So basically, what that basically what that means, this is going to affect this series because I do include all all the cards that I have available to me, uh, Madam Hydras, new recruits, bindings, things like that. Usually, I did combine those. So new recruits and sidekicks were all in one pile, bindings and wounds and Madam Hydra and Shield. I'm officially going to be separating those. I was reading through the rules and it actually tells you that you do need to keep that you need to keep those separated. They are supposed to be separate piles. And I've decided I'm just going to I'm going to go with that. It feels a little bit better to do it honestly. Bindings are actually a huge pain to play with. I really really didn't enjoy having them to be honest. So, I think we're we're going to be from 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 now on that is going to be the plan going forward that is going to affect this series it's going to affect um some future future uh, series that i'm planning on doing but um it won't be touching things like the progression series for a little while so just just wanted to keep that in mind for you guys last thing i wanted to talk about i am actually going to change a, just a smidge of how this series is going usually the way it, the way it worked was i got the um the villain side of things i kind of kind of curated a little bit i was trying to match masterminds and schemes together same with the villain groups just to make it at least a little thematic you know based off of just wiki searches and you know searching up the masterminds and seeing what kind of storylines they were involved in as well for the heroes i was really i was just randomizing them and i was including other spider-man heroes from the regular mcu and honestly like it led to some it led to the, la the past two games it just kind of felt like a grind um it just didn't really feel like i was um showing off this fan-made expansion all that well because i was rec you know recruiting cards from the regular marvel legendary universe and using those cards pretty often it was just like you know i have all these custom cards i need to be showing them off so plan going forward is i'm only going to be using heroes that can't that, that come in the uh into the spider-verse set now that is going to lead to some repeats. So I decided what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be creating my teams. I'm not for thematic purposes because I, I just don't know the Spider-Man comics that well. And some of these Spider-Man heroes, I'd never even read comics about them. But I'm going to be trying to create hero sets that are actually nice and synergized. So the process I, uh, I go through for that is I actually randomize two heroes and then I then I pick the next three. So I just kind of want to share with you guys that's that's kind of the plan from here on out. I think it's going to lead to just games that are just a little more fun and a little more exciting for me, for you, and overall I think we're going to be pretty happy about it. The goal isn't to make hero decks that are so overpowered that it's possible for me to lose, but just to create a good experience. And I really want to show you guys what these cards are capable of. And I feel like the way I was doing it before just wasn't doing that. So just keep that in mind as we go forward in the series. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get this game set up and let's get into the action. So first thing we're going to do, I randomized two heroes and I was going to kind of base, uh, kind of base the rest of the heroes off of them to try and, you know, synergize with them. So the first, the first randomized hero we did choose is going to be Spinneret. She seems, she's pretty dang cool. We used her in a previous video before, but I, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad she's back. She does have a couple, a couple uh, uh, cards that do transform, which is really, really awesome. Uh, but she seems pretty standard. Um, you know, a couple, uh, you get to play a couple copy card, you know, you get to copy cards from the hero deck, which is really cool. Empire Unlimited Suit is, you know, just a really cheap, cheap card, but it does have help, help from Earth 18, 18119. Basically, we play another card that costs one, we get to draw a card, which is really great. They transform to some really solid cards. You know, we have some excessive violence triggers we want to be doing. We get to investigate, which is really great. Um, overall, she seems pretty dang solid, honestly. You know, nothing, not too high demanding, but I think she's just, she's just going to do some work. The next randomly chosen hero we did pick is going to be Spider Punk. Now we saw him in the last video, so I know that might be a little dull for you guys, but I actually was playing him completely wrong because I thought Light Show you needed three cards with Light Show in order to activate it, but it is just only two, so he seems just a little bit more reasonable, and I think he's going to do pretty dang decent. Um, a lot of his effects are pretty, you know, not too crazy. You know, being able to draw, you know, be able to rescue a bystander, KO some cards, things like that, get extra recruit, which is awesome. 
but overall i th i think he's gonna do pretty good i'm um if i can build off of him and be able to activate light show every single turn i think it's gonna just increase you know it's just gonna be a value thing over time it's gonna be you know kind of just snowball out and we're gonna be just fine okay so based off of these two there was two things i noted with their cards that i wanted to make sure to support so i really wanted to try and get as many light show cards as i possibly could so that i'll be able to activate those basically every single turn and the other thing with um the spinneret Honestly, her cards are pretty cool. Like they, it's just this, like I said, it's just this nice little package that does what they say and you don't really need to support it too much. But the one thing I really wanted to do is her one costing card, Empire Limited Suit, does have help from Earth um, 18.119. So I wanted to get more cards in, in that costed one so that we can trigger that just a little more often. We can transform those cards into the better, to the better version so that we can, you know, just snowball into the end game. And the hero, I, just, I was slipping through all, all the custom heroes we had, and I found a new one that actually supports both of them, which is really cool. We're going to be playing Spider-Man India. Now, he seems pretty solid, too. Um, he does have the light show mechanic, which is going to go really great with Spider-Punk. But also, he does have a common one card that does cost one, so it's going to help sp support Spinneret as well. And he's another hero that I, I would say he doesn't have a strong shtick. You know, it's just like, no, these cards just do exactly what they say. You know, we got some wall crawl going on, some web warrior triggers going on. His un uncommon card does um, want us to play in a bunch of two costing heroes, which is really good. That's another thing we're going to keep in mind going forward, you know, building off of this one. But I think he's going to do, I think he's going to do well. I think he's going to add some good support for our two, two starting heroes. And I think he's going to give us a little path to go, go on for the next one. Uh, the next hero I decided to add is going to be may parker so we did uh see her in a previous video but i feel like she didn't shine too much I, I think i was missing one of the common cards that never popped up but she's really based around rescuing bystanders which is actually going to support spider punk a little bit one of his common cards does have cheering crowd we can take our bystanders from our victory pile put them back into the bystander stack a stack and we'll be able to copy the card that had the cheering crowd effect so may parker is going to let us rescue bystanders so we can activate that another thing all of her cards cost two Spy, uh, Sp uh, Sp Spider-Man India wants us to do that as well, um, and overall, I think I think she's pretty dang solid. Well, you know, couple, you know, kind of the same thing though. You know, card draw, rescuing bystanders. You know, a couple web warrior triggers. I think she's gonna do pretty dang well. I'm excited to have her on the team. The last one I chose from. I wanted to support May Parker just a smidge. We wanted I wanted at least one more common card that that was an instinct card, and then and I was flipping through the heroes and I actually found one that has a one coster and it all. It's, it's one costing, which is great. Also supports Spinneret, but it's also an instinct card that supports uh, May Parker. And we ended up choosing Spider-Man 1602. I actually read this comic book series. It's actually pretty dang fun. I, I suggest you guys check it out. Um, but yeah, the common card that costs one, you know, one recruit, wall crawl, man out of time, which is really great. I always love man out of time cards. They just, they do, they do absolute work. But um, the big one I would say also that we were missing from this uh, hero pool um, his other common card, Orders from the Queen, two damage, and we get to KO a card from our hand or discard pile on a um, on a common card. That's crazy. I mean, being able to knock out all of our all of our gray heroes, and then we're just then all we have is Spider Man cards. I mean, we are going to be cooking through our deck, which is really going to be really great. We got some top deck manipulation, Web Warrior drawing cards. I think this is going to be a really solid and fun game to play. So buckle up. I'm, I'm I think it's going to be a great one. All right, now that we're set up with our heroes, we're, let's get let's see what the villains are up to. The randomly chosen mastermind that we picked is going to be Miles Warren. This guy seems seems pretty intense. So um, his HP is going to increase equal to the to the size of his army. And what that means is when so when a master strike is drawn, we're going to build an army. And what that means is any villains in the uh, city that match his always lead group, he's basically going to capture them, put them next next to him, and that's going to increase his HP. So and, and they're, they're partly off the board, which is nice, but, you know, once his HP gets up there, you know, once he hit, like, the, you know, the 13 plus, you know, that's when it gets pretty difficult in order to take him out. But every time we draw Master Strike, he is going to transform, and he's going to transform into the Jackal. He does have the Ultimate Abomination, which is going to increase his HP by quite a bit. When a Master Strike is drawn, the Strike enters the city as a carrying infected villain worth 4 VP with 5, five plus attack, and he also has Abomination. So... That he's also going to be putting out a some really tough uh, villains for us to, to take out as well. Um, 
Yeah, overall, I'm a little nervous about this just because his HP can get pretty high. I think it's that is going to be pushing us into the late game and hopefully we can kind of keep up because, you know, once we get into the late game, we're going to be getting all, we're going to be recruiting a ton of cards. We're going to be playing a ton of not of non great heroes. But, you know, it's just, you know, if we can stay lined up with him, you know, can we still produce enough attack in order to actually hit him? So we'll have to see how that goes. I just rather stuck him in the wrong section here because we have the randomly chosen scheme we picked is going to be splice humans with spider DNA. I felt like it just it matched. I mean, I, I did just have to wiki his his um his profile, but this felt this felt pretty decent of a pick here. So we're going to have a twist in the villain deck. We're, we're going to include the Sinister Six as one of the villain groups. Uh, special rules, Sinister Six villains, they get plus three HP, which is a ton. That is a whole henchman on top of them, which is crazy. Um, but all all of our heroes do have wall crawl, which is going to be really fun. I mean, literally, we have a, a million Spider-Man cards, and they all have wall crawl now. I think that's just kind of. Um, I think that, I think the 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 benefit of gaining wall crawl is way higher in this situation than um, a villain group getting plus three HP. So when a twist is drawn, each player puts a Sinister Six villain group from their victory pile on top of the villain deck. No matter no matter. Um, no matter how many players did so, we're, we're going to play one single card from the Villa deck. So Scheme Twist, we're going to play a card from the top, play, play a card from the Villa deck as well. Um, when six Sinister Villains have escaped or the Villa deck runs out is going to be our loss condition. And I'm not too stressed about that. As long as this guy's HP, the Mastermind's HP doesn't increase by too much, I think we're going to be, I think we're, we got this in the bag. I think we're going to be all right. All right, let's get the villain cards all set up. Um, I decided to um, kind of do both ends of it because we're. Um, I know. Um, I know Miles Warren has, has stuff to do with the with um, the the clones cl the clone saga things like that. We also have Splice Humans with D Spider DNA. I'm assuming that's not a good thing as well. So basically, we're going to be bringing we're going to be bringing any, anybody in order to, order to fight him and stop all this. So I decided to bring in uh, Spider Friends as one of the uh, villain groups. They seem pretty cool. I mean, just it's it's really kind of a. It's kind of a mixed bag. There isn't really a strong theme across all of them, but Spider-Man is going to be one of them. So we're going to be fighting. My Spider-Man group is going to be fighting him, which I think is pretty funny. Black Cat seems really, really fun. Firestar, Firestar's just a really cool hero. I love, I love her artwork. I think it's pretty amazing. But overall, I'm not too stressed about them. But I think, I think that, I think they'll be fun to play with. Uh, we're going to be do our doing the required villain group, and that is the Sinister Six. Um, yeah, some of them seem pretty difficult. I mean, their HP, so their HP usually ranges from about four to six or so. Um, their HP is all going to be increased by three, which can be pretty dang difficult. Um, Sandman's HP could could go pretty high. Craven the Hunter's HP can go pretty high. So we just need to really keep them at bay, fight all the villains villains around them at least to slow them down. So um, I, I'm feeling a little pressure from them, honestly, but they're, they're our number one priority. We need to take them out before they escape or else we are going to end up losing here. The required, uh, the required group that we have from Miles Warren is actually a henchman group, and it is going to be the Spider Clones. So they do have three HP. They do have an ambush effect. Each player does does have to reveal two non-gray heroes with the same card name or discard down to four cards. That does seem a little bit difficult. We do, luckily, we do have some cheap cards in our in our hero pool. We have some a little bit of KO and ability as well. So hopefully, you know, once again, it's going to slow us down in the early game. I think with these popping up popping up you know pretty frequently but i think eventually we're going to be able to even out and they won't be too much of a problem when we fight them though we do have to reveal the top two cards of our deck we draw any that costs two or less put the rest back in any order that is a really big benefit i mean more than likely we're going to be drawing two cards every time we fight one of them which is huge and that's just going to chain and chain i think we're going to be able to take these out pretty pretty frequently all right, just in case you skipped over here, I know these are a lot of uh, custom cards, but I'm still going to go through a quick setup for you guys. The two cards that we randomly picked are going to be Spinneret and Spider Punk, and then I wanted to build off of those, uh, off these two heroes, just to kind of make them a little bit more of a synergistic deck. We do have Spider-Man India, uh, May Parker, and Spider-Man 1602. I think I think these heroes are going to bring a nice strong, uh, nice nice strong appearance here. Randomly chosen scheme is going to be Splice Humans Humans with Spider DNA. The sinister six, sinister six villain group is going to be buffed up, and if all if six of them escape, we are going to end up losing. The uh, the the mastermind we chose is going to be Miles Warden. His HP is going to increase the higher his army size is. And he does transform into the jackal, and he's going to be pumping out some pretty 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 beefy uh, master strikes for us as well. Um, for the villain groups, we do have Spider, spider Friends, the sinister, sinister Six, they are required, and the Always Lead group is the Spider Clones. Well, guys, 
pretty excited for the setup. I'm I'm excited just to to um have a hero grip that's just a little more synergistic. And I really want to, like I said, I want to show you guys how great these cards are. And I want and I really want to get a ton of people you know messaging me and saying, hey, I printed out the set and I'm gonna go play it right now. I'll let you know how it goes. That there's nothing more excites me than people joining me on this really awesome adventure I'm going on right now. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna get this all shuffled up. I'm gonna send you over to the play mat and I'll see you there. All right, looks like we're shuffled up and ready to go. Let's get the HQ set up. Got ourselves the first act, Copy Spider Powers, the Parker Luck, Spy Master, and the Parker Luck. Okay, got some decent little bit of recruit here, some cheap cards we could pick up nice and early. We're gonna have Miles start us out and we'll get the game going. All right, Miles is going to start, and looks like he's got five and one for us, not too bad. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Spider Clone. So each player is going to have to discard um, two cards, unless we reveal two cards with the same name, non-gray heroes of the same name. So obviously we can't do that. So Miles is going to discard a Operative and a Soldier, and looks like Harrison's just going to discard both of his Troopers. Well, let's play out here. We do have four recruit to play with, and we've got to figure out what we want to do with all that. It's probably going to be just a smidge inefficient, but we're going to spend one. Let's grab the first act. So this is, it grants one recruit, has wall crawl, and does have man out of time, meaning we get another copy of it. So we play it, and the next turn we get a copy of it, which is pretty sweet. We're going to wall crawl that to the top. Let's get that replaced with another of the first act. That's not too bad, actually, because we're going to spend two. Let's grab the Parker Luck. This grants one attack. The first time you rescue a bystander this turn, draw a card. And when it's triggered by Instinct here, we do get a Web Warrior trigger, which is great because we already have a first act. We're probably gonna grab a second one here. But let's pick this one up. We're gonna wall crawl this to the top as well. Let's get that replaced with a Copy Spider Powers. Let's spend that last one. Let's grab the first act as well. We're gonna wall crawl that to the top. Let's get that replaced with Empire Unlimited Suit. A lot, a lot of one costers here, which is pretty sweet. Um, but I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison top card of the villain deck is going to be a scheme twist so let's see there are no sinister six villains in our victory pile at all so we just have to draw another scheme twist or another another card from the villain deck got ourselves the hobgoblin does have an ambush effect each sinister six villain is going to capture a bystander so that is just going to be him for right now and it looks like he's just got a standard one so we don't have to stress about that and as a reminder his hp is going to go up to eight Due to the scheme. All right, well, let's play out here. I don't think we. I think we, I want. Um, I want Miles to pick this one up for sure. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to spend all four. Let's grab a copy Spider Powers. So this grants two recruit. Reveal the top card of the hero deck. If it's Spider Verse hero, place it on the bottom of the hero's deck, and you play a copy of it. Not too bad. You get that two recruit right off the bat, which is great, and a, kind of a mystery card. But I have all Spider Verse heroes in here, so it's going to hit every single time. Let's uh, wall crawl that to the top for sure. And let's get that replaced with a 15,000 watts of punk rock. One of the best card names that I've come across so far. That's going to wrap us up. All right, passing on over to Miles. Really wonky to see some non-gray heroes on turn turn two, on little turn three, actually. Top card of the villain deck is going to be the Shocker. It does have an average effect. Each player does have to reveal an instinct hero or they're going to discard a card. Luckily, Miles can actually do that, which is pretty awesome, actually. So he's in the clear and uh, Harrison cannot. So he's just going to discard a trooper. So I think what we're going to do, let's uh, first, let's play this operative go up to one. Oops. One, one recruit. We're actually going to spend that one. Let's put this empire and limited suit on top of our deck. because we can wall crawl it. Then let's play out both of the first act. That's going to bring us up to two and both of these will do a man out of time trigger let's play the parker luck that's gonna give us one attack we do get to do a web warrior trigger we're gonna reveal the top card of our deck if it is a spider spider-man or spider-verse here we get plus two attack and we got ourselves that uh empire and a little bit of suit so we are going to gain that two extra attack going up to three let's get this replaced because i did forget uh, it looks like we got ourselves oh man uh we got ourselves um Twas, Twas the Bite of a Spider. This is Spider-Man 1602's rare card. Gives us three recruit, has man out of time. If you have played cards that cost one, six, zero, and two this turn, defeat the mastermind once for free. Nice little uh, little mini game you have to do to try and get all those uh, costs, you know, in your deck and in your hand. Well, let's play out the last two things we got here, and that's just one of each. We'll see what we can do with that. 
I think what we're going to do, because we can hit the spider clone, we could draw out some cards that we actually re already recruited. So yeah, I think what we're going to do, let's spend, let's spend two. Let's grab the Parker Luck. We're going to put that on top of our deck while crawling it. Let's get that replaced with a Orders from the Queen. And yeah, let's go, let's go down to one. Let's fight the spider clones, taking him out. We do get to reveal the top two cards of our deck. Any cards that cost two or less do get to draw. And I just realized, oh no, that works. We get to draw both of these, which is pretty freaking amazing. And let's see. So we're gonna play the, M the Empire Unlimited Suit. That's gonna give us one recruit. We did draw an extra card this turn. So we are gonna get to transform this and transform this. That did give us a Allen Biotech Suit. Uh, grants two attack, has excessive violence. You build the top card of your deck, you get to draw it, or you get to KO it, which is pretty sweet. It's gonna give us two extra attack, going up to three. Let's play ourselves the Parker Luck, going up to four attack. We do get a Web Warrior trigger. And actually, let's see, I should probably... No, let's, let's hold that off for a second. We're gonna spend this two. Let's grab ourselves a... <laughs> sweet, we, have, we got a Werewolf Spider-Man for a special sidekick that is gonna go to the top of our deck because all of our heroes do have um, a wall crawl. It doesn't say just the heroes in the HQ, so this is gonna go on top. Then let's play the Parker Luck, going up to four. Do the Web Warrior trigger, got ourselves the Werewolf Spider-Man, going up to six tech. Not too bad for... Oh, this is really nice and early. But uh, sadly, I just realized I can't actually hit anything because his HP is actually going to go up to five, six, seven, eight as well. So that was a lot of effort for not being able to really do much, but I still got to do it, which is pretty dang cool. And uh, I think that is going to wrap us up, though. All right, passing over to Harrison. Let's see what this uh, copy, copy spider powers can do. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a banker. So that is going to get captured by the shocker for right now. Does give us a little turn off, which is really nice. Well, let's play, um, let's play Copy Spider Powers. It's gonna give us two recruit. Top card is going to be 15,000 watts of punk rock. So that's gonna give us four recruit. I don't have an extra um, bystander for the cheering crowd ability. So that's just gonna go to the bottom of the hero deck. Let's play out the rest of what we got. That is gonna bring us up to a total of eight recruit. My goodness, what are we gonna do with that? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab, uh, twas, the, twas the bite of a spider. Eh. And let's get that replaced with a humble beginnings. I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, pass on over two miles here. These are gonna be our man out of time triggers. Top card of the villain deck is gonna be a spider clone. So um, these aren't in my hand, right? Two non griots with the same. So I don't think we can reveal those. Can you reveal? cards that are in the mana at time? That's a good question. I'm gonna say no, just to be on the safe side. So we do have to discard two cards for right now. Um, let's see, I think we're actually, yeah, I think what we're gonna do, man, what do I wanna do here? Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of um, an operative and a soldier, because I think we could potentially get some fight in here. And discard those two. And looks like uh, Harrison can't can't do that either, so he's going to discard both of these troopers. All right, our uh, the first stacks are going to come in, so we're going to get ourselves two recruit. Then these two are going to get discarded. Let's play the rest of our recruit. We're going to go up to four, and let's see if we can get this uh, moonlight trigger. So when we play this, it does give us one attack, but it does have moonlight draw two cards, which is what we definitely want to be doing here. We just need one more odd card in here there to activate the moonlight here. So I think what we're going to yeah, let's see. Let's spend four. Let's grab ourselves uh, 15,000 watts of punk rock. Uh, this does give us a two recruit, has light show, and you get plus two recruit, and does have cheering crowd. So we can send one of our bystanders in our victory pile back to the bystander deck, and we get a copy of it, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's what that's that's basically that's four recruit off the bat if you do the cheering crowd, but if you activate light show, it's six recruit on one card. That's incredible. Let's uh, let's put that on top of our deck. Let's get that replaced. Hopefully an odd card. Got ourselves. Dang, this is Power Drain, but it is Spinneret's rare card. Deals four damage. You may discard up to three Spider-Verse or Spider-Man heroes uh, from your hand. For each card discarded this way, you get plus three attack. Not bad at all. Um, I don't think we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be holding on to this, so let's just pass it on over. All right, passing over to 
Harrison. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Vultures, who does have an ambush effect. Uh, after the center of the city, if if a villain on the roof, if there's villain on the rooftops or the bridge, swap Vulture with one of those villains. If he escapes, each player does reveal a instinct hero, or they're going to gain a wound. So let's get everything scooched on over for right now. This is going to enter. He's going to swap with the rooftops or the bridge. It looks like we do have to do the rooftops, which I'm fine with actually. Push, pushing back that bystander carrying one. Uh, that is going to enter, and looks like his HP is going to go up to 7. Well, let's see what we can get off of this copy spy spider power. So we're going to go up to 2 Recruit, playing her. Top card is going to be a Empire Unlimited Suit. Now, I do get to play a copy of that hero. So we're going to go up to 3. Um, I haven't drawn any extra cards this turn. And I don't get to do the help, so that's just going to go to the bottom. Let's, uh, let's just play out here. It looks like we have three, four, and five. Five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to go up to eight right now. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to spend all eight of that. We're going to grab this power drain. Two rare cards this early. That's incredible. Top card is going to be a team captain. Uh, this is going to get a mana out of time trigger, which is pretty sweet. And I think that's going to wrap us up. We're going to put this on top of our deck, though, for the sure. All right. Pass over to Miles. Looks like we got a lot of recruit this turn. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another spider clones, which is not going to be good for us. So each player is going to have to discard basically two cards. Let's just get rid of a soldier and a operative. And it looks like Harrison can't do it either. So I think, man, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna risk it here. I'm gonna get rid of both of these operatives actually. Let's see if we can get some good damage out there out there. Well, let's just play out here. Looks like we do have, let's see, that's five recruit to play with. I think we definitely need to get some damage on these guys. So let's spend two. We're gonna grab team captain. One damage, just have into the spider verse. And if you draw any cards this turn, rescue a bystander. Into the spider verse is sort of like coordinate. Basically, uh, Miles is gonna recruit this. If he has it in his hand, he can send it into the spider verse. And that means that either Miles can play that card from the Spider-Verse or Harrison can as well. So it's a good way to help your neighbor out. But yeah, let's get that. And we're going to wall crawl that. And let's replace it with a Spider Show. And then let's spend the rest of the three. Let's pick up this Orders from the Queen. So it grants two attack and we get to KO a, a, a hero from your hand or discard pile. Freaking incredible. Really want to get this nice and early so we can get rid of our gray heroes. Uh, let's put that on top. And let's get that replaced with a Humble Beginnings. And I think that's going to wrap us up. And unfortunately, I think we're, we're in a bit of trouble here. All right, passing over to uh, Harrison. Looks like we do have that Power Drain in hand, though, which is pretty cool. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Shocker. So it does have an ambush effect. Each player has to reveal an Instinct Hero or uh, discard a card. So first and foremost, we're going to have Hobgoblin is going to escape. That means our Sinister Six count is up by one. We have to KO a card from the HQ. Let's get rid of these, get rid of a humble beginning. Let's get it replaced with a Orders from the Queen. We did a, um, a, a, by, a bystander did escape, so we do all have to discard a card. I think we're going to get rid of, let's get rid of this agent. And for you, yeah, I think we're just going to get rid of that soldier. And then we got that settled though. Let's get this all scooched on over here. And the Shocker is going to enter the sewers. Each player does have to reveal Instinct Hero or discard a card. I have one here. And Miles has one with him as well. All right, we are going to get that mana out of time here. That's going to give us three recruit, which is not too shabby. And looks like we're not going to be able to get any big benefit out of that. So let's just play that. We're going to go up to five attack. Let's play this, going up to four recruit. Let's uh, let's go down to one. We're going to grab this order, Orders from the Queen. Putting that on top, we're going to wall crawl it. All right, let's get that replaced with a Love and Rage. And yeah, why not? So we're going to grab, let's see, let's grab this Humble Beginnings, but I think we're going to just put in the discard pile. I don't think we're, we really want to draw it at this moment. Let's get that replaced with a Orders from the Queen. His HP is going to be at eight, but I think what we're going to do, we are going to go down to two. Let's fight this Spider Clones. So we're going to reveal the top two cards of our deck. If it costs two or less, we do get to draw it. And that is going to be uh, just the trooper, actually. We're going to leave the Orders from the Queen on top. But we do get to play that going up to three as well. I think we I think we just need to keep the, the city managed. So I think we are going to spend three hitting this other spider clones, taking him out. 
Uh, top two cards are ordered from the queen and an agent. I guess we'll draw the agent, but we're not going to be doing much with it because we're just going to be passing it along. All right, passing over to Miles. He's got some straight fire in his hand here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Moon Knight. So it's four HP. We get to KO one of our, when we fight him, we get to KO one of our allies. Then if you fought the Moon Knight on the rooftops, KO another one of your allies. Not too bad. Double KO on a four costing card. Not, yeah, I'll take that any day. Well, let's play out um, Orders from the Queen. It's two attack. And we're just going to KO this uh, operative from my discard pile. Okay, let's see. Let's let's play out. Let's play Team Captain. Go up to three. Let's play... Um, I don't have any recruits, so I can't guarantee it. So let's play the Parker Luck. Going up by one. We're going to do a Web Warrior Trigger. Got ourselves an operative, unfortunately. So that's just going to stay there. Um, we're going to play the Parkour Luck again, but that is just going to give us the one attack. Then let's play the Emily Biotech suit, going up by two, going up to seven total. I think I, yeah, I, I, I can hit him right now, but yeah, I think I'm going to spend seven. Let's just take out this Vulture for right now, just to slow that whole thing down a little bit. And I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Vulture, so he's going to enter into the city and then he's going to swap with the guy on the rooftops which i think is kind of funny he's been moved a couple times now <laughs> all right let's uh let's see what we can do here i think what we're gonna do i do get the ko ability which is pretty nice yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna play out here orders from the queen is going to trigger though i don't have a card in my um dang i don't have a card in my discard pile actually so i think we're just gonna ko one of these uh agents but yeah, let's play out here. We're not going to activate this either. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight attack. Not too shabby. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to spend all, let's see. Yeah, let's spend all but one. We're going to fight Miles Warren, actually. His HP hasn't increased due to any master strikes being drawn. And he's just super uh, vulnerable right now, which is pretty dang cool. Um, let's see. Let's pick ourselves a tactic. We got ourselves a spread the, the carrion virus. So all uh, carrion infected villains, four weren't master strikes from players' victory piles into this, enters the city. We're good there. The mastermind is gonna transform though. And looks like we're gonna be dealing with the jackal for right now. Six HP, but he does have ultimate abomination. The attack values printed on your cards in the HQ are now added to his. When a master strike is drawn, the strike enters the city as a carrying infected villain worth 4 VP with 5 plus attack and the following abilities. Abomination, fight KO one of your heroes, then the jackal transforms. Not too bad. As of right now, what, he has 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? He has 10, and we want to be recruiting those anyway, so we'll see what we can do. And I think that's going to wrap us up, though. All right, let's play out here for Miles. Looks like we got a little bit of a mixed bag here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a spider clone, not too shocked. So each player is going to have to discard a card, two cards, or reveal two cards of the same name. I think we're going to discard both these operatives because we could fight these clones and we can end up drawing the recruit we're looking for. For uh, Harrison, looks like we're just going to get rid of both of these troopers. Well, let's play out here. Looks like we do have three attack and looks like three recruit. This is going to be mana out of time as well. Just to remind us there, but we do have three and it looks like three to deal with. I think we're going to spend all three of that. Let's fight this spider clones here. We're going to build the top two cards of our deck, draw any cards that cost two or less. Looks like we got those two operatives back. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's play those out. One, two, three, four, and five, and five actually. So we're going to go up to five. Let's just man out of time this right now so I don't forget. Yeah, you know, I think uh, now we need we need some damage. This KO ability is really dang good. So, yeah, I think we're going to go down to two. Let's grab ourselves a Orders from the Queen. Get that KO ability in Miles' deck. And let's get that replaced with, looks like a Humble Beginnings. I think we're just going to spend that two. Let's grab ourselves a Sidekick. Looks like we got ourselves a Spider-Man MK1 Armor. Not too bad. And I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Looks like we have four recruit to play with. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another Spider Clones tank. So Harrison already has four cards in hand, so he's immune to it. Looks like uh, Miles can actually with these uh, Parker Lux. Not too bad. Well, let's play the four recruit and uh, let's contemplate my life choices here. I think we are. Let's go down to one. Let's 
discover ourselves a love and rage that two extra damage and if and if we activate lightsaber we do get to rescue a bystander let's get that replaced with a copy spider powers we are going to spend all but one let's grab our humble beginnings so it's what grants one recruit if we do light wear we get to draw a card it does cost one though which is pretty dang sweet um i think we're going to put that on the bottom of the deck actually no no, no. let's put it on top put it on top all right let's get that replaced with a empire unlimited suit and i think that's going to wrap us up all right passing over two miles he does have that mana time trigger to deal with top card of the villain deck is going to be a black cat so it has uh, two attack elusive six meaning we have to create six recruit in order to even attack her uh, when we fight her each player reveals the top card of their deck choose any number of those cards to be discarded so that does mean this shocker is going to escape which is not good at all and it's and they're carrying a bystander so we do have to KO a card from the hq i think we are going to let's get rid of uh, these copy powers they're uh no, let's get rid of the Spy Master. I haven't really even thought about grabbing it yet. And let's get it replaced with a 15,000 watts of Punk Rock. A Bystander did escape, so we do all have to discard a card. I think we're just going to discard this Operative for Miles. Looks like for um, Harrison, he's just going to discard an Agent. All right, well, uh, we're going to play the, the first act here as the Man Out of Time trigger. So that's going to go to the discard pile now. We are going to play, let's see. Uh, let's see first. Let's play out both of our operatives. We're gonna go up to three. Let's spend one of that Let's grab this Empire Unlimited suit Let's get that replaced with looks like we have a 15,000 watts of punk rock so We haven't played these yet Well, let's uh, we did have that man out time trigger which was an instinct. So let's play out both of our Parker Lux so we do get to do two web warrior triggers and we have that card we put on top both times so that's going to give us a total of let's see four for the web, web web warriors one for the drivers so that's actually six total damage so far let's uh but let's also play orders from the queen going up to eight attack we do have to get to ko a card from our hand or discard pile going to be ko uh KOing in operative Right now, his defenses are actually extremely down. I don't have any cards in here that have a printed attack value increasing it. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go down to two. Let's fight the Jackal, taking him out, or taking him second time we fought him so far. Let's get that replaced with a failed alpha plan. We When we fight, we get plus attack equal to the size of Mile Warren's army. So I don't have an army at all, so it's zero. But we do have this, uh, this is going to transform back into the regular um miles warren okay so with this two let's spend it let's grab ourselves a sidekick got ourselves a prince of arcane arcane not too bad all right and we're gonna wall crawl that put that on top and that's gonna wrap us up all right let's play out here good little fistfuls we've got two rare cards in harrison's deck which is pretty impressive and i just realized i never moved all these over so let's get this all scooched over first now we can panic all right, we got ourselves another spider clone. So this vulture is going to escape, which isn't good. Ugh. Let's see, and he didn't have a bystander, but this total count is gonna go up to three actually, because we had a vulture, a shocker, and a hobgoblin escape. Let's uh, KO something from the HQ right now. I think we're gonna get rid of, let's get rid of 15,000 watts of punk rock, and let's get that replaced with a Mayday Call. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we don't have a six coster, so we can't activate that ability, which is always a bummer, but why don't we play copy powers and we'll get it there. So we got two recruit. Top card is gonna be a Empire Unlimited Suit. So just gonna get the one recruit. Don't get the help and it won't transform on us, but we do get to go three. Let's play uh, Twas a Spider Bite going up to six total. That is gonna have us do a man out of time trigger. Let's not forget. And then let's play out, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so let's play out here. One recruit, two extra attack, going up to seven, two attack here. And we can activate one of our light uh, light show cards. I think we're just gonna draw a card actually. Got ourselves another humble beginning. So let's play that, going up to eight total. So we have actually created um, more than six. So we can actually spend this too. Let's spend it. Let's hit this black cat, not too bad. And we're gonna reveal the top card of the decks and I get to choose if they wanna be discarded or not. 
Top is an, a an agent for Harrison. He's going to have that discarded. And Miles' top card is going to be that new Psychic Weed Recruit. So we're going to keep that. Not much to do with that eight recruit sometimes. So I think what we're going to do, that is two or less. That's not bad. Let's go down to three. Let's grab ourselves a spider show. So this does grant two recruit uh, help from earth. Uh, looks like 50 101. It does have light show. You get plus one attack for each card you've played this turn that costs two or less. Not too bad. I think we can get some use out of that. Let's do a wall crawl that put that on top. Let's get that replaced with a light maker. Yeah, I think we're going to go down to one. Let's grab ourselves a uh, light maker, I believe. So it grants us one attack. It does have a wall crawl, but it does have light show of web warrior. I think web warrior is going to be kind of the key to getting a lot of attack this turn. Let's get that replaced with a spider show. And it looks like that's going to wrap us up for the turn. All righty, let's pass it on over two miles here top card of the villain deck is going to be a fire star so five attack we fight her reveal the top card of our deck if it is has a recruit icon we get to ko it if it does escape though each player reveals the top card of their deck and it, if it has an attack icon we ko it pretty rough uh kind of a rough escape effect let's hope we can stop that well, let's play out our soldiers here go up to three um we're gonna spend the sidekick so we're gonna play sorry i just had to check on the rules for def to defend here but it's not going to really do too much for us so it's going to give us one recruit which is awesome and does have we do have uh, help from earth 7004 we did play a zero cost we do get the draw card got ourselves a werewolf spider-man let's see looks like we are currently in sunlight yeah pretty pretty badly in sunlight i don't know if we're going to be playing this actually that did draw us a card though so we are going to play empire unlimited suit getting a recruit this is going to get transformed though we are going to get that Allen Biotech suit. Let's play that. We're going to get two attack off of that. Then let's play the first act, getting a recruit, and that is going to do a man at a time. We're just going to put that aside for right now, so I don't forget. And then we could do one attack here, but I'm not in I'm not in moonlight, which is a little rough. I think we're first off. Let's spend two. Let's grab this Mayday call. One recruit, help from Earth, uh, nine eight two, activate if activated by instinct here. We do get to rescue a bystander. So let's put that on top of our deck. Let's get that replaced with the first act. I could recruit it, but I think those are a little scarce. I don't think we really want these anymore. Um, but we do have five attack to work with. Let's actually, let's go down to two. Yeah, let's fight this uh, spider clones here, taking them out. We do get to reveal the top two cards of our deck and draw them if it costs two or less. We've got ourselves a team captain and a mayday call. We're gonna draw both of those. And let's see what we can do here. Let's, uh, Okay, so we're going to play Team Captain right now. H this is going to go up by three. We did. We have drawn an extra card this turn, so we do get to rescue a bystander. Looks like we did get ourselves a, uh, a Ben Uruk. So when we rescue this bystander, investigate for a card that costs one or more. I will take that. All right, looks like we did get a Spider-Man MK1 armor, so we will draw that for the risk that bystander rescue, and we're going to put this on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Let's, we'll take a look at that in a second, but let's play... Let's play Mayday Call. It's going to give us one recruit. Uh, we do have a Help from Earth 982, so we do get to draw a card. Got ourselves a the Parker Luck. Not too bad. And uh, we do get to rescue a bystander, actually. And uh, we're going to get ourselves a Paramedic. We don't have any wounds to deal with. That's okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, so let's play the Parker Luck. Um, we are, we've already rescued by Sanders, so the, the draw effect isn't going to work, but we do get one attack and then we're going to do a web warrior. Got ourselves another Parker luck. That's not too shabby. Actually, it's going to give us that two extra attack. Let's play. Hmm. I think we're going to play Spider-Man MK1 armor. We can get the draw card or get empowered by strength. And there's no strength heroes to speak of. So we're going to get rid of that. We do get the draw card. We get that Parker luck. Let's play that going up to seven. Uh, do a web warrior trigger got ourselves a orders from the queen that is going to give us two extra attack going up to nine not bad at all and we're still in sunlight so i, I don't know if I, I don't think i'm going to play it unless i really need to um one two three let's actually fight the spider clone and see if we can keep the ball rolling here top two cards are going to be oh man two orders from the queen that's not bad at all unfortunately Let's see. So it's actually not a May. KO a card from your hand or discard pile. 
That isn't a May. So we're gonna play Orders from the Queen. We're gonna KO this uh, Werewolf Spider, or Werewolf Spider-Man actually. But we do go up to eight attack. We're gonna play this again, going up to 10, and I don't have any cards in hand and none are in the discard pile actually. So I think we're gonna, we're, we dodge that bullet. I think the city's actually doing pretty decent for right now. So let's, uh, let's fight Miles Warren actually. So we're gonna go down to three. Let's fight him. All right, we got ourselves a Professor, uh, 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 what was it, Garinus. Uh, when we fight him, if you can't outwit Miles Warren and play the top card of the villain deck, but it is going to transform no matter what. Let's take a peek. We do have a three, two, and a zero, so we should be just fine there. Um, but we are going to transform this guy. He is going to transform back into the Jackal. And let's see, we have three and two to work with here. I think we're going to spend that two. Let's grab ourselves a sidekick. We got ourselves the Spider Kid, and we are going to put that on top of our deck. And it looks like we can't do anything with that three, so I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, let's pass it. Let's do this. Let's see. All right, this is our man out of time trigger. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a master strike. So let's see. So this is going to get stacked. Oh, no, actually, it's going to enter the city as a carrion infected villain. So his HP is going to be set to five. And he does have abomination, but it's not, it's not going to be doing anything for right now. Okay, so we are going to play this out. That is going to give us three recruit to play with, though. Okay, and it looks like we want to play that last actually. So let's play uh, let's play all of this out. That's going to give us three attack, and it looks like we got two recruit off of that as well. Let's play the spider show, giving us two recruit. We do get a help from uh, fifty one oh one, so we do get the draw card because the last card we played did cost zero. Got ourselves another trooper. Let's play that going up to four. Uh, we do get to activate this light show, show ability, though. So we get plus one attack for each card you play this turn that costs two or less. And that is actually all of our cards. That's one, two, three, four, five. And we did play this, which is six. We're going to go up to ten. Not bad at all. Yeah, I kind of like this card, actually. Let's uh, let's go down to two. Let's recruit that. I'm going to put it on top of our deck. And let's get that replaced with a team captain. So for his ultimate abomination, currently there's his is only up to one. So let's go down to three. Let's fight the Jackal. And that is the fourth one. We'll only have to one more time and we'll win. And we got ourselves a army reinforcements. All heroes in the HQ with, with less than two printed attack are added to Miles Warren's army. Oh boy. Okay. And we, and uh, wow. Oh my gosh. But it doesn't actually transform, which is interesting. Oh no, let's see. Oh no, this mastermind transforms. What am I saying? So yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do with that. So let's see. That's actually all of these. So we're gonna all of this is gonna be added to his army. He is also gonna transform. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's his HP is currently at twelve, unless we reveal a five costing hero. So let's get that marked up here. He's at twelve for right now. And let's get our HQ reset up. Got ourselves a love and rage, a put on a show. This is Spider Punk's rare card. Uh, grants three attack. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw one that has has light show, and put the rest in any order. And it does have a light show ability. You get plus two attack for each tech hero you play this turn. Not too shabby. I mean, um, I would say um, for each tech hero you play. So yeah, that is automatically up to five. More than likely, you'll get up to uh, seven, which is pretty sweet, anyways. Got a orders from the queen, a team captain, and a love and rage. Can't do much with this, but with our two recruit, um, let's see. Um, I don't really want to take that actually, so I think we're just gonna do a sidekick. We got ourselves a Spider-Man MK. Uh, looks like that's four armor. It does have piercing energy, but that is gonna go on top of our, top of our deck, and I think it's gonna wrap us up for the turn. All right, passing over two miles. We also have our, uh, this is our man, man out of time card. Top card of the villain deck is gonna be another master strike. So that is, let's see. So yeah, this master strike is gonna be added to his army and any card and any villains that are in his always lead group, which doesn't actually exist right now. So this is actually gonna go to, oh, we need a new die actually. Uh, his HP is currently gonna be at 13 unless we reveal, I believe it's a six coster now. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we have to reveal a six costing hero to get to get rid of it. 
Okay, well, let's play. So the first act will we'll land. It's going to give us one recruit. We're going to discard that for right now. But it looks like we are just going to replace it with uh, with this one. We're going up to two recruit, and that'll be mana out of time. Let's, uh, looks like Spider Kid just draws his card. Doesn't have Into the Spider-Verse, but we're just going to play that. We're just going to draw ourselves a card. Got ourselves an operative. I guess I could have recruited something first. Uh, anyways, uh, let's just play out here. We're going to get three attack from these two. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six total. We're going to go up to six recruit. And we do actually have cheering crowd here. So what we're going to do, we're going to send this back into the bystander deck and we're going to play a copy of it. So it's going to give us two more. And uh, we're going to activate the light show ability because we have two of these right now. And it's going to give us another two recruit. And let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, I think we're going to go down to two. Let's grab ourselves a put on a show. Does have, we are going to wall crawl that to the top of our deck. Let's get that replaced with a 15,000 watts of punk rock. Let's take the last two. Let's grab ourselves a sidekick. Got ourselves, oh, whoa, a uh, Mamu versus Spider-Man. We're going to put that on top. And it looks like that's going to wrap us up, actually. All right, we do have Spinneret's Rare card here. I think we might be able to win this, win, finish this up. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Moon Knight. We're not worried about that at all, are we? Okay, his HP is at 13. We do not have a six coster to reveal it, to reduce that down. But I think what we're going to do here, we're going to play Power Drain. It's going to give us three attack. We can discard up to three Spider-Verse cards and gain three attack for each one we do. So we are going to discard this one, this one, and yeah, I think we're gonna go with that one as well. Yeah, let's do it. So that's three, six, nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We actually have 13 attack, which isn't too bad at all. And actually, yeah, so that's gonna bring us up to 14 just in case. But as far as I can tell, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 attack. Perfect. Let's go, let's take him out. And we have officially won the game. Um, that was pretty dang fun. I mean, I had, having a walk crawl was pretty crazy. I, I am playing this a little late in the day, so I was a little tired. But being able to just, uh, it's really its really interesting being able to just like set up your next turn just by what you recruit, you know? It's like, okay, I want to keep recruiting. So I'm just going to keep getting these, you know, copy spider powers and things like that. Man, what? Man, we got, I can't believe how quickly we got, well, we, we got power drain super dang quick. And the other rare card, we also got Twas the Bite of a Spider. Not too incredible. Uh, we weren't really able to set it up just because we didn't have any other, a six co a six costing hero in order to activate it. We got those super nice, really, really early. I thought May Parker is actually pretty fun. But we, I feel like we didn't really uh, get the full three card combo that so we could pull off all of them. You know, by playing all three of this, it's just a nice little flow sequences. But we got little bits and pieces of it as we played. I, I really like the the any card that transforms and you get it right back in your hand just makes you feel like you're cheating almost. It's just like, oh my gosh, so I get the benefits of the first card I play and it transforms it and I get the benefit of the second card I play too. I mean, it's just, it's just a bonker. It's really fun. So either way, either way, guys, I had a really good time playing with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Let's, uh, here, let's get our uh, victory points counted up real quick. Uh, for Harrison's side, it looks like we got uh, 6, 12, 13, 14. Uh, I don't know what you're doing in there, actually. Uh, 14, 15, 16. Uh, let's see. Man, yeah, it is a little, little late. Uh, 22 and 28 points for Harrison. For Miles, we got ourselves 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 13 victory points. Not too excited. But man, uh, man, those scheme twists never really showed up now, did they? Now they're all just stacked there, there at the bottom. There's the two master strikes coming up. Yeah, I mean a little pressure from this. I mean, what we had, a, we had three escapes on the from the Sinister Six, so I felt a little bit of pressure there. But either way, guys, hope you really enjoyed this. This is a little bit, like I said, this is a little bit more different just because I sp specifically picked out my hero team, and I'm gonna be doing that going forward. Just to, I don't know, it makes the game just a little bit more fun. Either way, guys, keep your heads up. Hope you had a great time, and I'll see you next time.